Cause it's so key Why would I treat my body When I wave this tech It's a mess anyway though Team that was lost Flat in front of the cat Batsy, batsy, flat you the cat Batsy, batsy, flat you the cat Batsy, batsy Team that was lost Flat in front of the cat Batsy, batsy, flat you the cat Batsy, batsy, flat you the cat Batsy, on that batsy, on that wheel Man caught him and I ran my spill Said I might go on this color like tail Man I would think hard when I would feel We know about camera with them. Shout out Blade Vision. Hey, Blade singly brought back grime all of last year. Alright, you ready for this live? We're going a bit earlier today. Tell someone to try to back to go live. Let's go. Yeah, shout out silent business, you know what we're doing right now. Well tell some people we're going live. No, you have to show face, my guy. You have to show face, you have to show face. Yeah, bro. Um, click the link in the bio. Click the link in the bio. YouTube. My name is China. It's got all the stuff there. TikTok, my name is China. Click that in. Yeah, shout out to Blade, man. Yo, what's going on? My name is China, the man in the voice. We're going to do some lives today. We're going to do some lives tonight. Um, it's been a little bit earlier than normal. But let's get some people. We normally go late, but we're gonna get some people. Hey, you never know who's gonna pull up, man. You never know who's gonna pull up. Hey, we had, hey, we had Derek Tavura in here today. That was that. Yeah, man. Yo, shout out to MF man there. What's going on, my guy? What are you saying? You good? So, we should be getting someone that should be jumping in here shortly. I don't know where he is, but for the moment, we're just going to just do what we do. So, yeah, what are we saying? Yeah, we had, um, you never know who's going to pull up on the live. So, what we're doing is, everyone keeps asking where these lives are, because they're not, I'm not posting them up. So, we're going to put the clips onto YouTube, and we're clipping everything up. So, it's all going to be on YouTube. So, if you haven't done already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is China. Um, that's on. It's, it's in the link in the bio. We're almost on like a thousand, like thousand subs. So I think we're at like seven fifty. So we're almost on a thousand subs, which is good. Like we only started um, just with the open school. Yeah. So that that just shows what's going on. Um. So yeah, we almost hit the thousand mark. Thousand subscriber mark, and then yeah, then we go. You know. 
So yeah, shout out to everyone that's been sharing the content. It, it wouldn't be going as far if it wasn't for you guys. Yo, who's, who's cool pulling up? I can see the people came in. Yo, shout out to JR Kicks, my guy. What you say? Come to, to, to listen to some of the man stuff. Okay. So, so yeah, like I was saying, um, you never know who's gonna, you never know who's gonna, who's gonna, um, who who's gonna pull up into the live, um, who's gonna, who's gonna jump in. We've had all different types of people to be honest with you. And like I was saying, yeah, yeah, Derek was all abducting yesterday, so big up Derek, big D, you know what I'm trying to say? He gave a he gave a perspective, his own perspective on the content that I'm putting out and also what he does as a father in his home and for his girls. So I just think it was it was you know, it was good for him to pull up or to show up the live and more importantly, just to tell people what he does. And and I was saying like Essentially, every man wants to, well, not every man, but most men want to be providers and most men want to be part of their, especially they have girls and stuff, they want to protect them and make sure and they have, they have peers and more of the future. So that's what we spoke about, you know? And he let us know that he's not retired anytime soon. I wasn't even trying to tell Derek why he's retiring. Listen, look, I ain't going to tell him what to do. All I can think about is a man that's like, no, I'm going to keep supplying and keep working hard for. Um, yeah, someone said the shot, the sound is shaky on the live. Is it shaky? Why is it shaky, bro? I'm here to listen to the man and his voice. Listen, you might learn something. But more importantly, I'm here to listen to you guys too. Like it's not just a thing where where I just talk where I just talk consistently. Um you know, I'm here to actually listen to you guys because that's that's kind of how we 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 can move forward. This is not about just me speaking. It's about me speaking. But if you watch the lives, you know that I let everyone let let everyone speak and get what they want to say out. So I think it's quiet. So yeah, we're going to be going live today with um with Romeo the club posted up earlier on and we're gonna talk we're gonna be talking about men's cosmetic surgery. I know right we're talking hair transplants, beard transplants, we're talking um teeth, veneers, fillers, all that type of stuff. Uh oh no what are, are men's doing sculpting, body sculpting? We're gonna talk about that too. And I think it's quite important because everyone always talks about you hear me talk about the natural the women, but obviously there's men that out there that are doing, that are taking cosmetic surgery. I want to talk about why they feel they need to do it. Also, um, I want to get opinions from women about men that do that type of stuff as well. So, so yeah, all you men that are losing your hairline and can't get connected with this guy's gonna—he's literally the plug. He's about to plug you into what he's been doing, and you know, because this is what I'm saying. You can't go to. See what I have here. Yeah, this is natural. Turkey can't get you this. I don't care what what doctor you have. No doctor can get you what Chai has right now. This is good gene. This is natural. Um, what about lips? What man them can't be doing lips, bro? No, that's no. We need to discuss that. Like that. Nah, that's yeah. That's a bit crazy. Lips. Men doing their lips. No, that's a bit crazy. Nah, that's that's crazy. Let's get him in. Yo, my kid. Yo, you telling me, fam? What's going on, fam? What's going on, my good, brother? You good, yeah. Thank you for pulling up to the live. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, what well, we're going to be talking today about men's enhancement and and cosmetic surgery and 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 just basically hairlines. Beard lines, jaw lines, yeah, yeah, yeah. basically anything that men can do. And like, obviously, you know, for someone like you who is like who has had some work, who have had some work done, and yeah. you've been very vocal about it, you you know, you promote like your influence and you promote the places that you've gotten done. You yeah. tell people where where you go, you show people your journey. Yeah. So yeah. So I wanted to use the opportunity to have someone explain why men are doing this. 
So, I, I, I especially yeah, I just you know an opinion on that. All right, cool. So let's start off with the with the hair transplant situation. Yeah, mm. the reason man went, I went to Turkey for a hair transplant is because my hair started to recede. Yeah, and a lot of the time, the reason um, a man's hair starts to recede is because he's still there, bro. Yeah? No, 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 sorry. No, no, you're, not, you're, you're, not, you're not you're not mad. You, yeah. you you stood so still, yeah? I thought it was frozen. No, it was, but I was literally tuning in. I wanted yeah, yeah, to go yeah. on. So it's basically, not, not. let's start from the let's start from the beginning. So but the reason I went to Turkey, yeah? First of all, yeah, the hair transplant. Like, the reason I got it done was because a lot of men of today are losing their hair, yeah? And the reason a lot of men of today are losing their hair mainly is because of high testosterone yeah men of the a lot of men of today have high testosterone or it could be related to like their 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 their, their dad or their 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 ancestors their grand because my dad's bald but i thought baldness comes from your mom's side if your mom's standing bald, okay then... wait so hear this my dad is, oh, yeah. my, my, my dad is bald and on my mom's side my granddad is bald and all my uncles now, they're in like their fifties. Yeah. My my uncles, they they are bored. That mm. one of one of my uncles is literally holding onto his hair and he's he's waiting for he's waiting to see my recovery in the next few months so he can go and get his done because he wants to get his hair back. He, all my uncles they look about thirty, thirty something, but they they they're in they're, they're, they're in their like mid fifties right now. And, yeah. Um, yeah, so I've started to like obviously look after my hair now. But before I had, I had a um, I had braids. Braids used to braids used to braids used to um, pull on, the, pull, on the hairline. pull on the hairline. So basically, it used to pull on the hairline, and it would it would literally make you get a bigger forehead. Literally, bro. Like that's what happens over the over the course course of the years. If you keep braiding your hair, getting a girl to braid your hair, or going to the hairdresser. And, and tightening it up, it um, it makes your, it it makes you start to recede. It, it starts to pull on the hair, and it just uh, after a while, uh, you can see the difference. You be like, hold on, my hair's starting to go. Why? Am I, why is my forehead getting bigger? Uh, mm -hmm. Literally, literally, the old, old, over the years, your hair, your your your, your forehead just starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger. But, <laughs> That's been so but fam, like it had to be done, and um. Obviously, I came back now, and I wanted to go back for... Wait, sorry, can I stop you? Can you just tell me... Um... Go on. Break it down. What do you want to hear? Hold on a second. Um, could you... Hold on a second. Yeah, could you just tell me about... Could you tell me about... The process of it because you like I went I come back but I want I want people to like I want to know you want to know, you want to know the process of it so I went yeah, to... like, like, if I was losing my hair now you guys can clearly see I need because Ty got it is good right now so I'm there like yeah. if I was losing it what would what would be the process what would I do now I want okay. to get my hair there. okay so the process is like so, so why is a man now that's in your that was in your shoes and wants to get his hairline back okay so like. The process of w w or how it was, I just researched companies and who I want to get my hair done with, and obviously Turkey does everything in it. They do they do everything out there. That I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. People try to put down Turkey a lot of the time, yeah. But Turkey have some of the most cleanest hospitals I've ever seen, bro. Yeah. You know what, man? I spoke to one of um, one of the shopkeepers um, that do business with, yeah. and then he was like. He told me he was going to go to Turkey to get his teeth done. And yeah. he explained to me, he was like, listen, they have doctors so much, as good, even better than here, and the cheap, the price is cheaper. He said, yeah. the problem with people is they don't do the research and they go for like, the cheap, cheapest thing. He's like, you don't have to go for the cheapest thing. You can still pay good, like, good price money, not so expensive, and still come away with something good. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, carry on anyway. I was just saying, yeah, go on. Yeah, because I was like, I needed to. So when obviously my, I did my research on all the, like, the companies, companies and stuff, I saw one company called um, 
called Long Javita that Paige Cakey went to. I hit, I hit, I even hit up Paige Cakey. I was like, yo, you went there. And then. Oh, yeah, because her, her thing went out. Yeah. Paige, yeah, Paige, Paige, yeah, Paige Cakey's hair was receding as well, bro. Like, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, people get their hair done. But a lot of people don't really talk about it enough, bro. But mm. I'm someone that I'm not afraid to talk about it because if I can encourage someone to, to help change their look for the better, mm. then I'm here for that. Like, invest, what I say to people is invest in yourself, yeah? Mm. When you invest in yourself, a business looks looks at you differently or someone looks at you differently, like, oh, okay, cool. They take pride in how they look. If you take mm. pride in how you look, then you're, you're, people are gonna wanna people gonna wanna work with you. People wanna like, yeah, he's a good guy. She's a good person. Um, they look good for the business. They we, we can put them on. We can put them on this brand or put them work work with this brand or whatever because they look a certain type of way. Do you get it? Like it's like it's like when you look at all the, for example, when you look at all the Love Island people, all they put on there is people with with with, with gym bodies and 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 abs and they're not going to put someone fat and and not sellable to the because you know you know what bro we know what's sellable in it yeah mm. someone that looks good you have to look good in this day and age bro so someone uh, says um scarlet official i lived in turkey for 10 years and both my children were born there i would not have my ch my child born here in the uk Mm. And aim that I pin Turkey's healthcare is better than ours. I've experienced a public healthcare. So yeah, people are vouching for what you're saying. You yeah. Know, so Turkey, Turkey's got one of the like, like obviously like there's translators in that out there as well. So and a lot of them speak good English anyway. Like, but they they know what they're doing, bro. They take time and they take pride because they know that it's coming from the UK. And bro, one thousand two hundred out there. Goes a long way, bro. I was about to ask you, how much did it cost? One thousand two hundred, bro. One thousand two hundred. So you're telling me, men are out there losing their hair and they're spilling it on drip? Yeah, bro. Bro, like I'd rather I'd rather spend one thousand two than buy buy a designer designer jacket, bro. You get it because yeah. I, I'm investing in I'm investing in some I'm not gonna go out, I'm not gonna go out and buy Balenciaga's again now because all that food never. Put, never you get it like why well, I've spent eight hundred pounds bro it's crazy bro like and out there like like when I was talking to like my, where I was staying in a hotel the the money yeah for example like a guy one of the hotel re receptionists here. He earns only three hundred pound a month, bro. Over the course of a month, they own, a lot. A lot of people own, earn, only earn about three hundred. So one th so when I come over there, one thousand two hundred pounds. That's a lot of money, you know. Mm. Over there, because when I got back on the when I was getting back on the flight back right from Turkey, it was like, ah, you got money because they saw the they saw the bandages <laughs> on my head, and yeah, they, yeah. they saw the hair transplant fresh. And it, yeah. it's mad over there, bro. So, um... Yeah, £300 is standard wage. What? I didn't know that. Exactly. £300 to £400 is a standard wage in Turkey. It's crazy, bro. I couldn't believe it. Probably the, probably the, the, probably the highest earners out there are probably doctors. Mm. They're, they're, they're probably the highest earners. Um, and then, so, yes, yeah, so tell me the process of, 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 of what it involved. What did it involve? What do they do? The process is basically, bro. Like, they, let me break it down to you. You go, you go over there. They pick you up from the airport. Yeah, as normal, five star, five star hotel. They put you in a nice hotel. Um, they pick you up in like a Mercedes, and then they they take it to take it to the hotel, and then you just you relax off for the first day. Then the second day, you go to the go to the hospital. You go for your consultation. When you go for your consultation. You um, you you go through the steps of what they're going to be doing, how many graphs they think they're going to do. They look at the back of your head, and they say, "All right, cool. This how many?" Because really and truly, bro, they they're literally taking each implant one by one, one by one, from the back of your head. But obviously, what they do, they put you on the medication so you don't feel the pain. So was it local anaesthetic? You're not asleep. Yeah, you're not asleep. Local anaesthetic, bro. But they give you Xanax, bro. So you're you're pretty. You're pretty oh, you're on your yeah, you're high, bro. You're high, bro. 
Pop and bear, man. Oh, yeah, bro. They give you Xanax just to relax. Just to relax, you know? And, um... What I was saying now is that... Um... So, what? Do they take out your actual hair follicles from the back and they put it in? Is that what they do, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right now, so my, right, right, now right now, bro, my hair's my hair is going through the growth stage, isn't it? I'm not gonna but this is this is this is my new this is my new hairline, yeah? Yeah. This what this is this is my whole new hairline, bro. Okay, okay. See it's it's this is all this is this is my new hairline. Where was it pushed back? Where where did it come back from? Where was it before? Got, well my hair my hair's just growing so it's just growing back here. Just oh the, wow, can you have that? Yeah, bro. I was get, I was get, I was getting it. Bro, I was getting an M on. I was getting an M. You know the M. Oh, yeah, that storms you. Yeah, if yeah, bro, man, man's hair was getting pushed back, bro, and that was from braids. I mean, you had braids as well. Like, yeah, bro, but you never, you never noticed it. But I noticed it. You get it? You only. Now, one of the guys said he took out his braids because his thing was getting pulled back. He took it out. Cause you don't want to end up like see them dread man. That you know what they, they got the, the yeah, one and, dread and, and they just they just got the dread at the back. Thing. You like let it go, just cut it off. You just want to cut it off. You just hold yeah. it. Go. No, yeah. it's like, just, just, you know? let, just let it, just let it go, bro. Um, yeah, it go. So obviously, what man did now? Obviously, I came back now from Turkey. That, uh, Sherelle, look, Sherelle says it looks good. Let's just pick that up because you know, like, like you know, if you, you wouldn't got it done, and people are saying it looks good. So yeah, let's 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 get some of that love in there. Yeah, thank you so much, man. Like, um. This is just the, this is this is just the beginning stage as well. Like we're 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 in we're in the, the first month of its growth, and um, we're just growing through now. Because obviously, you have to obviously get your after you get it done, get some hair hair stuff to look after it, and you have to look after your hair, man. Big facts. There really is way more people have positive experiences. The problem is with the sudden boom in it will highlight the negative more than okay. Whatever that is. Yeah, so then, so then so they did that and they put it in the front and how long how long did the process last before then you was out before you left? Bro, I didn't even realise I was in there I was in there from like nine thirty in the morning to yeah. about three, four o'clock. But yeah. you're so drowsy you don't even realise how long you've been in there. So imagine man's man's been in the chair for about seven Seven, seven, seven hours. Mm. Seven, eight hours. But uh, depending on the doctor, but my surgeon is quite good. It's the second time I've been to her as well, because she did, obviously, as you can see, man went back and went and got the bid done. Okay, so, all right, so now, so you've gone to Turkey with a with 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 one, two, twelve hundred. They've nice you, you've got, you hopped on the plane, they picked you up in a Mercedes, take you to the hotel, five star, they brought you there. Mm hmm. This fast boss, local anesthetic, and then and then what they do, what they do, they they, they they determine how many graphs they can put in your head. Okay. Depending. It's on not you. Don't so say they they let you know what. what I what told man. bro. I told them, I want a box fresh hairline. Bro. <laughs> you think it's a joke, fam? That's what man no. said. To, I said to them, yeah. I want this box fresh. Yeah. Box fresh hairline. That's what I told them. And that's what they and that's and that's what they gave me, bro. Like and then and obviously when 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 I said I want the beard thing done, I said I want this. And then he, what they did, obviously my 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 beard was only grown up to hair. Like yeah. I was getting a chin strap. So yeah. see see turn, turn, turn your face to the side. But mine's even like I can hook you up. Yeah, my my kind of practice yeah. like yeah, my my. I'm, my, my Man can hook you up still, so when this grows, man, man, you feel like you try. Trust me, to, nah. Hey guys, listen, he's not, he's not. No, listen, man, I think it, hey, he's not turning me, man. I'm natural, baby. Ooh, yeah. Natural <laughs> child. Get some, hey. get some oil, get some oils in that, and saw it out, man. It'll, it'll come true. You guys, look, someone said you'd be surprised by how much this will boost your confidence. You can see how much confidence this guy has. He's booming right now. Anyway, tell us about the beard then. So then, I can't, see, I can't see these comments, you know, bro. Can't you? Why not? I don't know. All I oh, yeah. is, the last comment I can see right now is where it says Scala official three hundred forty. Nah, it's, it's probably just it's probably just your 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 delay. But look, um, your beard looks your beard looks good. You're getting fire emojis. Don't worry, man. Like, like come on, so, come on, come on. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I would have known you went 
and got that done like so we appreciate you being honest and sharing your journey because how will we know that that look that's a good beard man you know yeah, what i mean that's what that's what i'm here i'm here to show the, over the next the course of the next um six to six to twelve months the the journey of what man is going through in the process because yeah. it's really it's it's mentally it can it can really mess up a man in it like i've seen man out here and they got no hairline and like you, bro you know when you go to a club yeah you know when you go to a, you know when you go to a club and a, and, a, and you're wearing a hat yeah, and a girl's like oh let me see your hairline and they pull off your hat they'll pull off your hat for no reason just to see your hairline if like like bro like if a girl does it now i'm like yo yeah i got a hairline straight well, I can't lie. It was it was it was during the last two years of the madness, yeah, when everyone was looking. Remember, when everyone's hair was going wild, yeah. And people were looking for barbers and people were looking to get to get a twenty bag fine just so they can get trimmer and this. Like that was when I realized people got mad hairlines, you know. Like yeah. I would see man thing. Do you see that Tory Lane thing? Do you see that oh, Tory Lane? Tory Lane, Tory Lane thing was mad, you know. Well, it was, and he had it. It was just wow. And all of a sudden, you started seeing what people look like. Like without the grooming, and it's all of us. So for someone like me who's got, I've got a strong hairline. I'm not, you know, I'm not losing my hair. God forbid. Um, I'm just not going to put the clothes aside. But like, I don't know what that feels like. But at the same time, we'll talk about this afterwards. But I know a lot of men that have lost their hair, and you know, it's a definite effect to their confidence, or they don't look the same. Uh, yeah, so, and, and it, bro, when you lose your hairline, it, it kind of ages you, bro. Like, yeah, no, no, I don't even have an uncle. See, I'm, I'm good right now, but once you lose your hairline, you're looking like, good, though, bro. You're looking good for 25, bro. This guy, see, you guys, bro, you're straight in the bars today. You're straight in the bars. Hey, this is how you sell a man. This is how you sell a man a dream. It's like, you're looking good, but you know, you, you don't look better if you just had that beard linking. Nah, no. <laughs> so, when you the beard, that. Was that just a purely? Same, bro. This is the same hair from the back of my head. Yeah. The same hair from the back of your head that you do on the top into your face. Yeah. So this is all. This is all fresh hair, bro. This hair was yeah. not. This hair was not hair before. Okay. Yeah, and this is all new. This is all new. It's all coming. It's all gonna come. It's all gonna come through, and that's like. So so what have you got bought so you got ball patch it so how does it work then? No, it re it regrows. It regrows. It regrows but it's not gonna grow as thick. Because it's at the, it's at the, it's at the bottom now. So obviously yeah. when, when man goes to the barbers, you're gonna get you're gonna get a low fade. Okay, yeah, yeah. You go to barbers and get a low fade, yeah. Hey, where'd he go? Yo, come back. Guys, his wife, something must have happened to his phone. Yo, he's going to jump back in. Yeah, he's coming straight back in. Yeah, it's, um... Yeah, yeah, I'm back, I'm back. I don't know what happened. Yeah, go on. Um, so yeah, you said you get a low fade when you go to the barbers, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you go to the barbers, you get a low fade. So, so with this, okay. So your hairline, that there was, that was affecting your confidence. That would affect your, you know, the jobs you can get in your industry and working. Yeah. All of that, understandable. Man's trying to be, man's trying to be, man's trying to be sexy this year, cause I know listen, it's already. Listen, well. huh? With the beard now, the beard now. Do you? Is that? What? Why did you do the beard? What was the I'm beard? I'm not going to you. I can stand but this here was more like with the I, I got the beard, yeah, because I feel I needed a beard because I hate being called cute, fam. You know when a girl calls you cute, bro? I'm not 15. I want to be a man. And having a beard for a man shows, like... Sexiness, bro. Like, I don't know what it is, but at least, I think at least seventy percent of women like a man with a beard. I, okay, guys, we're gonna need to in the comments, um, women. Do you like a man with a beard? Just yeah. If you're... Do do do. I want to know honestly, girls, ladies. 
Do you feel a man with a beard is more sexier than a man that's clean shaven? That's what we that we want. We exactly hundred percent beard. No beard is a hell no. Can you can you imagine? But a lot of the time, obviously, I have to get my I have to get my beard like cut and that because of work, filming and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I I said now I want to go for roles where I've got I'm, I'm gonna grow a beard. And if I get if I get the big role with a beard, I'll I'll take it. Man, I want to try and grow this and see what it, and see what it looks like. So far, yeah. I've seen. I just so far I'm seeing. It. I'm pretty much seeing unanimous for a beard, really. I used to hate facial hair. Now, as long as it's well groomed and taken care of and not scratchy, I love it. Girls love a beard because what it is, it, it, it defines it defines a man's sexiness, bro. Okay. Yeah, it defines it defines a man's sexiness, like that. Mm, women love a beard. Period. Yeah, at least seventy percent. So 80% women like a man with a beard. Clean shaven is for boys. Like, obviously, it, it, at times, man is still clean shaven for, like, work and stuff. But clean shaven is just baby vibes. Exactly. Clean shaven gives baby vibes, <laughs> which is mad. So, okay. So how much, how much, how much did that, how much did this one cost? That was another 1,002. Number one, two, one, two in the head, one, two in the beard. Yeah. In total, in total, in total, I play about two. In total, I play about two, four. Oh yeah, two, four. You're having your beard, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now, what, what else have you have done then? Oh, uh, you know, I got my teeth done. Yeah, I know. Uh, do you want to, you want to give, you want to give the people a nice smile? Okay. Damn, you got that Love Island smile, hey. <laughs> it's getting my ring light. Hey, stop it, man! Stop it! Stop it! I got my teeth done from a company called Tooth Club. Shout out to Tooth Club. Yeah, Tooth Club, you did me well. Did me proud. I, I did a little collab with them, so they gave. Me... Oh, I, to be honest, I got. I did a collab with them, so I, I didn't pay for my teeth. But originally, they'll be about three, about three, three and a half. Okay, so can you... This is what happens when you're an influencer. You just get tea for free, you know? Oh, uh, stuff. So, so, what is, so what is it? I see all types of teeth they do. I see where they shave them down. I see where they do... I composite. See all composite. They're called composite bonding. Let me come a bit closer. Yeah, let me see. They're a bit... I to brush them. Right there. Well, your thing is, the thing is, well, that's yeah, pearly white, man. Yes, yeah, so like, when I got them done, it's composite bonding. Composite bonding is like, um, it's how can I say it? It's a um, there you go. I'm not gonna lie to you, see that 8k thing, give me a bit of like color because boy, um, I've been in this, this winter here making me look pale right now. But yeah, um, show us the gum. What do you mean the gum? What do you want to see on the gum? My gums are, my gums are good. Why do you want to see the gum? What's the, Why what's do the gum? They want to see if my, they want, they want to see my gums are black. Yeah, and that's all black, black gums. Yeah, yeah. I do got black, I, I do got black gums, China. Yo, 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 captain. Uh, I'm black. I mean, yo, captain. I got black. I got good teeth, man. Yeah, you got good teeth, man. Natural baby, come you got, on. You got, you got good teeth, man. Don't, don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll slap on the comp. We'll, we'll slap on the composite. We'll slap on the composite soon, man. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so explain to me. So what? So yeah. So what, what is your teeth underneath that? Uh, yeah, my teeth are underneath this. These are all my teeth. Okay, it's so all your teeth, yeah. All my teeth. And by the way, guys, they're not veneers. I didn't get veneers. My teeth were already straight as it was. But what okay. I did was I, I, I got them enhanced. So getting them in enhancers and like making them. Oh, we we got we got a guy on here right now that can talk to you about beards. He's yeah, he's got a very very good beard. Remember we was talking about, but he never went turkey. He's he, he's grooting naturally. Oh uh, no, we need today. We're talking about a natural beards, man. Shout out to the natural dons, but we don't. Shout out to the beard. natural beards, man. Shout out to Ice Cream, natural man. Gang. We see you. <laughs> but this is about a natural beard gang. This one here. This one, a natural beard gang. We will talk. 
Yeah, so they do them individually, one by one. So what is that material that's on your teeth? What is that? How can I describe it? It's like a paste, bro. But they um uh but it's like they do them individually. It's like it's like porcelain. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. yeah, it's like porcelain. Por it's porcelain. It's like an imitation of por it's porcelain, but it's like an imitation of it, but it's whatever it is, they just did it. They was like, yo. So does it when you chew how does it feel? Like, can you feel like there's pull up your teeth or there's pull up you have something on your mouth in your teeth? No, it feels like my teeth, bro. It's my teeth. Man eats normally. Man drinks not. Man eats normally. Man drinks normally. I want tooth bonding. Oh, she want. I want tooth bonding. Yeah, man. If you want tooth bonding, shout me in the DMs. I'll shout. I'll send you the plug. I'll hit you up. But yeah, um, they do them one by one, bro. And the best, they're the best dentist I've ever been to. Like they're better than my old dentist. So. Now you've got that, yeah. How long do they last for before they need to be topped up or changed? Or they last for life, but obviously you can. I get. I'm gonna have get them looked after every three to six months. Isn't it? So what does that involve? So you just go to your normal dentist. You have to fly back to Turkey. I didn't go to Turkey, bro. Essex. Oh, Essex. Yeah, Why Essex. No wonder, Essex. Yeah, fun. I was saying Love Island, bro. No, I went, I, went, I went to the same dent. I said I went to the same company as like um. Joey Essex and all that, man. That's why you look, that's why you, they literally, I see Joey's mouth, he look just like that. Yeah, man. Master, in Essex. Master, like... give me the, he went there and said, give me the Joey Essex. Give him yeah. a smile for people. Let's see the Joey Essex. Let's see it again. Give him a smile. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, people would have been about free too, yeah? Yeah, about free. Yeah. Um, I can, I can get, I can get for people, I can get people to get now for like two, five. Yeah, so all together is about five and a half grand worth of work that you yeah. have. Your yeah. your, yeah. your, your teeth, your yeah. ideas, yeah? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Would, so I see someone asking, I'm going to ask that as well, would you get anything else done? Would I get anything else done? Um, or are you getting anything else done? So, well, everyone's going to have to wait and see. Wait and see. Yeah. Man don't, um, man, man, don't, man, don't, man don't reveal no secrets till to, 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 to things are done. That's what, that, that's what they did with the beard, that's what they did with the hair transplant. Man don't reveal, okay. man just puts, man just look, puts it on the ground. Look, there. Obviously, it's so refreshing to hear men speaking about the things they've done. I love it. Look, I, I think, see, a lot of times I'll speak about, I speak about natural this, natural that. And I speak to women, but don't ever think that I don't speak to men. And if men are getting treatments and are, then we want to speak about them, we want to know why they get it. And then we also want to know what type, like, what type said. If someone has gotten good work versus people that are out there getting bamboos, we want to put, we want to plug them into the right direction. But at the same time, I didn't want to have conversations with other men about masculinity. And I want to speak to women as well here, how they perceive men getting work done. It might look good, but how do they? Overall, perceived because I'm just looking for the comments has been pretty much positive to you. Uh, I don't think I've seen a bad comment so far. So, um, and I think that's also come down to how open you're being with it because I don't think I think a lot of people get stuff done and they like the front and pretend like they didn't get that done. Yeah, because you know what it is, yeah, bro. Men, men, men go through insecurities like women and all. Don't get, don't get twisted. Men get, men go through insecurities like women. Talk about it. Talk about it. Um, stop buying. Insec like. Obviously, people go through like certain men might not want to go gym and stuff. They might just go go Turkey and get their body done or something like. That. Anyone, listen. You can, what man get MBBL? That's mad. That's mad. That's wild. That's wild. Wild. That's wild. Hey, man, you can't be getting no BBL. I can't co-sign that. The man's voice can't co-sign that. No, man's not, man, man's not co-signing no BBL. A man said that I can't be doing, doing abs and that, yeah, in the gym. I'm going to just go get sculpted. No, 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 no. This is cheating. This is cheating. <laughs> That's just an easy... easy it's, it's, called, it's, called, it's called a soft life. Soft life. Listen, Sherelle, this is, a, this is a safe space for everybody. I think you have to understand something, right? I don't... You might... If you, if you see some of the clips that you see, you might think, oh, da, da, da. but no, this is a safe space. I just want to create a place where we can have discussions. Like, people can't get triggered about statistics or stuff like that. Like, because then it doesn't help. So, I wanted to be able to discuss with this because I've seen it. We've seen the comments and stuff. 
but you know, no, nothing better than having a man own it, own something, because there's a lot of men that aren't owning it, just like women, you know. So I think, it, yeah, this is, and this is what I want to do with women as well. Like I want to have one-on-one's lives where we can speak about stuff. Yeah, yeah but man, man, I respect women to the T yeah, that go and get their bodies done. Well. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you get, if if they get it done right. I respect it. I'm sorry for the ones that don't get it right because obviously, like obviously, a lot of women they they go through they go through phases in their life. Isn't it? Girls girls put on weight. They have kids, and and they can't get their body back. And gym is a is a good factor to try and get your body back. But you won't get your body back properly unless you get surgery. Facts. That's all I'm gonna. That's all I'm gonna say. No, what about no, I, I, I know, no, I know, I know it's controversial, bro. But you know what it is. You know, you know what it is. Like if a girl's just had a baby, she's had baby, and there's, there's loose skin, you can't win that back. You have you, as much as you try to, as much as you try to go to the gym. Huh? Like some women, some women, but some women snap like you know. So we don't want to say that the only way a woman can get her body back if she goes in surgery. I don't think we should be promoting that. I should, you know, I, I think we should be saying a woman has the right to choose and she can, she has autonomy and sovereignty over her body, so she wishes to go and get some work done because after a baby, maybe some things are all for confidence, then that's, that's up to her. I'm never saying she can't do it, but I don't think we should be saying that that's the only way for women to snap, to come back after a baby. Yeah. Girls, if you, if you feel insecure about your body, just go turkey and get a baby on. <laughs> Bro, are you moving wild, you know? I'm promoting, I'm promoting, I'm promoting this shit to the T. Yeah, girl, girls, if you if you feel like you need to go get your body done, fuck everyone. This is what I say. Fuck everyone. Go get body done. If you don't if you don't feel like you got the right you want that you want that perfect body, yeah? That body oddy, that Cardi B body. What? Jump what bug is that? She looks she looks what do you mean? She looks she looks like she's built like a bug. Hey. I'm not promoting that. So what I'm promoting is, ladies, listen, I promote a healthy lifestyle. I promote that you should love yourself um, and you should feel confident in yourself. I don't promote... Because the problem is now, yeah, is I hear everything you're saying, you've been very confident about it and you've been, you've, you've been very open and honest and that's cool. But I think from what you're prescribing to is probably more of the feminine nature now. Let me explain why. Because although you want a good hairline, Although you want a nice beard, which are things which are, you know, masculine and attractive to women, the way you're going around them is a feminine way. So you're going around a, a, a cosmetic surgery. So what I would say is this. Men have, there's lots of bored men that are successful, that, that are, you know, that women love. You know what I'm trying to say? Jeff, Jeff Bezos, you might be the richest man in the world. That's one factor, but he's still bored, you know? The Rock is still bored, you know? Um... You can name countless amount of men that are bored, that are successful, that, that do quite well. So, hey, even look at, what was that, that blue therapy, Paul, what was it, Paul Bridges, see what he's doing with his bald head and his beard. I've noticed something, the men, the men with bald heads and beards are dangerous. They like, they will make men with a whole hairline, like you're talking the box fresh, and they'll be scared. Something about a man with a full bald head and a beard, don't leave them around your girl, bro. It's going to yeah, be a wrap. Listen, listen, there's, there's wait, powers. Wait, wait, wait. So wait, so wait, so let me just finish here. Um, so tradition, men have always been looked at as to be a protector, provider. Like, I don't think women ever really looked at a man and said, I want a man to be prettier than me. They want him to look good, but, you know, there's lots of bored men that get lots of women. So I think, and I don't, I don't want to say to a man that you can't, you can't, if you think that this is going to help you or aid you, then you should. But I should also let him know that what would, what, what society and women have required from you was never in your head, like. So the moment you start looking at that, you start kind of being trying to be prettier and more than the girl. So I think that's when you start burgeoning on the feminine on the feminine energy, really. And that's how I kind of I, I look at. It. Yes, you can do it, but I think where does it stop? And then if you start talking about abs and this and that, then essentially, you know, you turn into a Kendall. My. She said, my husband is bald and he's freaking sexy as hell. My man is... There you go. natural beard. My husband is bald and he's freaking... Look, my man's bald with a healthy natural beard. Look at all of this. And this is what I'm trying to say to you. Like, 
I see so many bald men that got women, and it, so when you start worrying about that, you're starting to become slightly feminine in nature because man, just go to the gym and get hips. So they ain't worrying about that bald head. Yeah, man. <laughs> anyway, like like Buddha's belly or something. Don't worry about man's, that, man. Man, man, man's, man's not trying to be. Man's not trying to be bald. No, because you're also worried about how you look, but the woman that. You know what I'm trying to say to you? Because it's becoming now, and that's what I do. So I like to say everything because I think it's important. But then at the same time, I have to say, this verges on a feminine nature because you're becoming more concerned with the cosmetics versus what us as men are supposed to go out and do and just conquer, build stuff, take stuff. You get me? Buy stuff. Yeah. But we're not supposed to create it in her and have a yeah. bet. You know what I mean? And that's kind of the... The, the, ball, the, the, the ball thing is a bit mad because, like, Unless you, unless you can have a good beard, you can't you can't be bald and have no beard. You look like an egghead. Straight. <laughs> bald can be attractive for some women, but if you haven't got if you haven't got a beard to go with it, with the bald head, then please go to Turkey and get a hairline. Yeah, or or just or or, or just like you can't be bald and no beard. It, mm. it, you, you look like Humpty Dumpty. You mm. get it? So, it's girls, yeah, girls can like, uh, like sexy, se they like beers, they like, they like bald heads and that, but for me, man had to grow this hair back because I can't be going bald right now. I, I, was, I said to myself, no, nah, I, I have to keep this look and keep it fresh. I have to stay 21. You get it? <laughs> Man said Forever 21, you want to shop in Forever 21? Bro, oh, I'm going to see you trying to get trying to get the tracksuit Forever 21. You know that's a girl's tracksuit, you know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm taking a piss. I'm taking a piss. Oh, bro, like, yeah, like I just, like I said, you know, I appreciate you for, for sharing, yeah, like your journey, man, and, and you know. She like, said, she said, one girl said, you can get low shaven tattoos on your head now, too, so. No one's getting no tattoos on their head, man. That's that fake thing, dust bear dots. Oh, the dot thing. Oh, yeah. That's a budget thing. Yeah. Aaron Edwards says, was he feeling insecure when losing his hair? Well, Aaron Aaron is a good friend of mine. And um, he's he's been wanting to get his hair done. But he don't want to talk about it. But I like to in, I like to encourage the man them. If you got something you need to be, get done, get it done. Don't waste time because as you waste time, you're getting older, and you're getting older. Yeah, you're 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 you're, you're gonna. If you don't look a certain type of way, so you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose a certain girl that you're interested in, or you're gonna lose some lose a job that you want to get. That's why you have to do it all now. So when you've got it done, you can approach whatever move you want to go for next. Trust me, bro. When I got my head, when I got everything, when I got my head and head done, you know, everyone thinks I'm younger. Like, it's mad. It's 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 great for me, and um, I'm grateful for them. But um, this is just the beginning. This is a it's a journey. Yeah. It's a... That's why I get a little bit more like okay, I because right now I can listen. If you never told me what you got done, you look good. You told me what you you, you got done, you look good. I'm not judging because it's working, right? This can work. But when you tell me, oh, it's just the beginning, I'm like, ooh, just the beginning of what? What else can you get done? I don't, there's nothing else. What else do you need? What else do you need? <laughs> what, what, what else? Yeah, what else do you need? Because what else can you do? All I need is more tattoos. <laughs> okay. That's what's cosmetic. Isn't it? Okay. That's all. No, no, man's, man's not going to, man's not going to go for no lip filler and all that foolishness there, because that's just, that's just. What do you mean? You, your black lips are big enough as it yeah, is. No, because no, you, you said what else is man going to go for? Man's got, not going to do none of that. Man's not going to go get nose job done. Man's not going to get nothing else done like that. Man is not going to do no cosmetics. Six-pack surgery. Huh? Someone said um, six-pack surgery. Who said nah, that? Nah, no. Oh, are you trying to be Peter Andre? Oh, Mr. Scott. Come on, is that what you're trying to do? Nah. <laughs> six-pack surgery, yeah? Hey, hey, is that what, hey, Federico, is that what you're going for, yeah? Come on, my brother. Oh, Federico, yeah, he, he went to Turkey. I think he went to Turkey and he got his, he got his, um, he got his six packs done and that. In it, Federico. Ain't gonna talk. He's shy. 
He's done some of the non-invasive advocacy, so I wouldn't be surprised if lipo is next. <laughs> hey, so, what, are you trying to get some lipo? Suck a little fat on the side, yeah? I wonder where women get fillers and all the work done for, for themselves or for men. Okay, uh, that's a good question. Hold on, wait, hold on. Let me... Uh, man, man getting six-pack surgery to be locked up. <laughs> okay, so... I wonder whether a woman get fillers um, and all the other work. I pin this comment. So yeah. So do you women? Do you guys? Um, we get a lot of people that say, "Oh yeah, we do it for ourselves." We, you know, it's a weird one, right? Because in one way, women will say, "I do it for myself." Okay. And another way, I'll say they do it for men, but another way, I'll say they do it for women. Because if they did it for men, then they wouldn't get it done because we don't ask for this. We, we don't ask for, for BBLs. We don't ask for fillers. We don't ask for breast implants. We don't ask for any of these things. We would prefer not them to come without them, but they still put them, so they can't do it for us. So they do it for women to compete, to compete with each other, to ultimately to be the most... Whatever makes, you, whatever makes you whatever makes you happy. Get after, it. But then ultimately that still comes back to uh, competing for male attention. So the difference with men is we can say everything we do is for women. Everything you've done there directly is for women and you have no problem with saying that because it all comes to the end of it, right? But women seem to have a problem with saying, you know what, I go gym for men or I want to do this for men. They seem to think it, it, it they call themselves a pick me. Yes, it's good to be picked. It's better to be a pick me than it is to be a skip me. Do you remember what it used to be like in school when you got picked last for football, any type of sport? It was yeah. the worst feed. Who wants to be picked last? You want to be picked first. All them women that are chatting, no, it's because that's how, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so yeah, man. That's how I look at it. Better to be a pick me than there is to be a skip me. Don't listen to them girls saying you want to be picked. They just vex. Yeah. But <laughs> having a, having a, <laughs> it's that. Bro, I know someone he. I know someone he did it secretly. You'd never be able to tell. Oh, Sherelle said that she knew someone that went and got six pack surgery. Yeah, men. Uh, men prefer natural. Yeah, nothing's nothing's wrong. Listen, nothing's wrong with a man having surgery. If you wanna go, if you wanna go abroad and get your abs done and get your, your if you wanna look like Superman for the new year, do your thing, man. If you want, if you want like obviously. There's a certain man in the gym, yeah? Certain man going to the gym for the last five years. Yeah, I know no comments. Yeah? I know man. I know certain man, yeah, that have been going to the gym for about five, six years, yeah? And they're still, yeah. and they're still fat, bro. No, they've been in the wrong gym. They've been in the wrong gym, my guy. It doesn't make no sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know, you know what gets to me? You know what gets to me is like when certain man say to me, yeah, yeah man's going gym, man's going gym. And then yeah. next six months, you don't see no difference. You should see a difference in like at least three to six months, bro. Yeah. Ah, I don't know. Oh, oh, look at this. And he's a personal trainer. He got six pack surgery. Mad thing. Crazy. He's selling dreams. He's selling dreams. And he's a but... personal trainer and he got six pack surgery. Crazy. Crazy. Go on, hot who who is it? Cheryl, who's the friend? He's on Instagram. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see his outcome. I want to. I want to see what he looks like now. Go to the gym. Be right. Because the pro okay. You know what? I'll tell you. Okay. The problem. It's the problem. Not even getting the BBLs, right? If you was a girl that went to the gym and you was healthy and training, you want to go a BBL. You want to. It wouldn't be so bad. The problem is with you girls going and getting BBLs and carrying on with your your, your lifestyle. And now the BBL starts looking mad. That's when it starts looking mad because it's not like someone that trains. It's not like someone that goes to the gym already been doing abs and for some reason they can't just get this little bit of skin off their belly they've been trying. That's different. You people ain't even trying. You're just going straight and then sucking it out. Sure. Like, and then He's an influencer. I wanna what what okay, what's his what's his Instagram? <laughs> he should be arrested for fraud. Oh, hey, Admiral Hey, right, man said he should be arrested for fraud. Hey, Sherelle, Sherelle, what's his Instagram? I wanna see what is I wanna see what he, what is his I won't show no one. I, I just want to, for me, just, you know what, Cheryl, DM it to me, please. I want to see what he looks don't like. Don't mess up a man's grind. You're about to mess up a man. It's 2023. Don't mess up a man's grind. Let, let oh, no, man no, 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 no. That's come. I just want to see what, I just want to see the outcome because obviously I might, I might, I might get it done, you know? Mm. 
You never know, bro. You might see me in the next few months with the, with the, with the, with the rippiest abs. Get it? Man's man's not even fat right now. Man's slim, but I wanna get, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna cut it up and make sure man's cut yeah. this year when I get go when I go mad me and all that this year. You get it? Get and work on yourself to please your husband it isn't a bad thing. My husband has never asked me to do anything, but I want to keep myself looking good. But yes, you should be doing everything for your husband. That that is just like, could you imagine a woman saying, "I'm not saying that um, your husband should tell you to get a." Uh, BBL or some type of cosmetic surgery. You no, know, that's that's it. But I'm saying you should be doing everything possible to keep her happy. And if that means that you want to, you consider that. That's up to you. But yes, you should be doing everything to make your husband happy. Yeah, I agree. Based upon what you want to do, but you need to be keeping him happy, hundred percent. Exactly. Yeah, man. Um, Wait. Guys, anyone got any questions for Romeo? Any questions, guys? Let them fire. Let them fire. Fire some questions at me, man. Guys, fire some questions for Romeo. Let them fire. Do you want to bring anyone anyone else in this chat, bro? No, we're gonna we're gonna do your live uh, by yourself, and then afterwards, um, I'll I'll bring in. We can bring in some people, but let's just let's just get some questions. If anyone wants to jump into other question, can just make sure. Make sure you, you're aware that you have to show your face. No black squares, please. No black screens. Um, what surgery are you getting done next, Romeo? That's from Federico. Uh, what surgery am I getting, next? I'm getting done next? The next surgery I get is about to change the lives of so many men. That's all I'm going to okay. do. What's that knee surgery? What's that knee surgery? You're, get you're, you're tall enough as it is. <laughs> Man's going to get my kneecap taken out and fucking be taller. So I want to be, 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 be six foot three. Romeo, Sherelle wants to know, are you trying to attract a certain person? Am I trying to attract a certain person? No, it's for, it's, to be honest, it's, it's for myself. I do, the, I do this all for myself. Like, no one can tell me anything differently like i went there I, I did it solo i come back can you show some tattoos this ain't a strip show guys <laughs> yeah you, you you guys think this is chocolate city you must think this is magic Mike. listen listen you you, you 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 have to pay us for that man yeah you, 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 no you have to this is nah no, we, we think this is man this is a magic <laughs> But I'll show us some tattoos. <laughs> you, better, you better hit the cash app link. I'm about to show us some. We got cash app. Yeah, I need to start dropping that. Hit the cash app. Yeah. Buy the badges and that. You know about the badge thing? Huh? You know, you know about the badge thing you can add on Instagram? No, what's the badge thing? You can add it on here so people can like, send you money when they buy send the badge. Guys, send me money, man. What are you talking about? Everyone needs to send me money for spending these bars. Um, would I get any work? Chocolate City, look, she was laughing because she knows, eh? She's yeah. Got, she's got yeah, she's, she's got a, she's got a husband, you know. She's got a husband. Hey, you know your husband your husband. Remember your husband, Sherelle. Remember your husband. No worries, it's fine. Um no, I would never get any work done, guys. What can I say? I I'm I'm beautiful already. I love myself already. What can I say? I'm perfect, right? So I'm saying I'm perfectly imperfect. And this is the way that the, the Lord intended me to be, and this is the way I shall be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't I don't I don't berate anyone for doing anything or doing anything so far. Nothing like that. So yeah, um go oh, wait, we're coming to the end of the live now. It's almost an hour. Guys, we're gonna jump back in. We're if anybody wants to jump in, um but I'm gonna jump back into live, my guy. Thank you for sharing your journey with us, my guy. This is also the beginning. First month in. Let's go for it, man. I'm ready. 